All right, we finally got the first one of the day. You can tell he's got one hooked right in the tail. So this one's gonna be a fighter, but you've been fighting him for three minutes now, probably. Yeah, I five. Maybe five minutes. So it's a pretty good size one, definitely a keeper. Might swing it over. It'll fall over. It's in the tail, that's like the worst. Oh. You can kind of swing him out, maybe I can grab his mouth. If not, I have to do this. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. Is that just on one hook? Yeah, it's not on those bites. Yeah. <sighs> Whew. That was a struggle getting this thing out. Definitely a male. It's got to be a keeper. Seems like it's a keeper. Definitely a keeper. <sighs> All right, how about that, guys? Smack me. The bone carpet, dang! Oh. Got the pictures? All right, so there you have it, guys. That's the first fish of the day. We've been uh, live scoping them here for, I don't know, like two hours now. I'm seeing so much fish around here, but first time live scoping Spoonbill, I've always caught them off the bank. Uh, so it's a little bit of a learning curve, trying to get the right angle on the cone and getting the hook into it, but that's a solid fish. It was like 38 inches from eye to tail, maybe what? Four, maybe 39, 40? I didn't measure them exactly, but it's a male, but there's plenty of fish around here, so I'll, uh, Hopefully we uh, get get a few more around here. Where'd he go? He's currently in this mess somewhere here. He's not transducing him like this right here. That's because he put his tail to us. I'm gonna move it a little bit. He's like in ghost mode. Go straight up. He's there somewhere else. No, I went behind him. Well, I was about to smack him. Nice. Oh, you nicked him. Did you? Yeah, I felt it ripped it. Point on. Yeah, see, it's a little bit better when it's clo they're closer in. As far as like we're over that point on. I nicked it. Yeah, cause he like, you touched his nose or something and he, the dude just like bolted. Look like a pretty good size one too, but of course we're still in 16 feet. They all look pretty good size until you can pull them out. So they're out there more deeper. We're like 14, it's a little bit shallow right now. Is that the same guys we talked to? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah, it is. Oh, we touched him because he moved. Oh, it's crappy there. The problem is you freaking turn around, you get to him, he turns the other way. A few moments later. <laughs> oh, yes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bass rod. It's not, it's not supposed to break. There it is. Oh, stupid. <laughs> what? Tip. No, he took the. Oh my gosh, I just hooked him too. The, he's got a hook in him now. My brat, literally, guys, I just hooked one and my bass rod broke in half. Ridiculous. Finally hooked one after. That was a good hook too. What are the chances of that? 
It was not supposed to break. Maybe I pulled it up too high, like not being not being used to catching one on bass equipment. I mean, it was an old rod. That uh, maybe has something to do with it. Dang it, I got all excited. Yeah. Is that the one I missed? Oh yeah, that's a good one. I told him, like, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm watching, I'm like, dude, just hit it. It's like I got it in the tail. No, I got it in the bill. I thought that was the tail at first. Got to come do that rope thing? Probably, or that's a good one. Ooh, what the? Little stolts in here. Dang, that's a fat, that's definitely a female. She was just chilling there too. Be careful with the hook. If you you can grab it by the mouth. She's wrapping her. It's wrapping around her. If you, if you can grab it, just grab the. Well, I don't want to grab it. Grab the grab a hook. Don't grab a hook. There's only one, so. <laughs> nice. Pull it out here. Yeah. Oh, some. He's slick. Ah. Oh shoot. She's got some fight. Well she came up right to the surface. No, we can't we can't lose more rest for losing her. Nice. Oh, that's a that's a tank. It's a fatty tank of a fish. Yeah, dude. Woo! -hoo. Woo! -hoo. Still want to go dude, home? Dude, look at her. Look. It was barely hooked. If it wasn't wrapped around like this, she'd come off. I am sitting there looking at it. <laughs> I was about to do video of it to show like this is how it looks like, and then you nail it. Want to take a photo? Let me pull this out. And get it out of the way. That's a big old sucker. Fat mama. <laughs> Dang. You gonna pick her up? Yeah, see if I can take a picture of her. Well, watch your don't face. Don't go swimming with her. Oh, I probably will. Oh, I can't even pick her up. <laughs> how do you How do you guys pick her up? You just have to get dirty, get under the belly. Oh. But make sure you got her tight on the... This thing's like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's not gonna work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me. Let me try one of these again. Huh? Let me try one more. The, the, that, 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 that sideways view is sick. It's been on my. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Oh. Okay, let's do a single on her tail. That yeah, maybe through his mouth. <sighs> All right, so here she is. I don't know what the weight 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 is, but it's definitely a female. So it's been a grind all day. One broke my bass rod. I'm sure you guys saw that. Then I caught this one. We we're actually planning to maybe possibly go home, but I don't, know, don't know if we will or not right now. But don't let go. <laughs> a 
Right there, Vitaly. Right in front of us. Look like right there. Open piece of crap. <laughs> it's a fat one too. Now swing it that way. Nope. You look, you don't see them till like right under your nose kind of thing on this crab. It's behind us. We've we've seen better but um ones. Yeah, I don't even know where it's at. But yeah, like uh, this video wasn't wasn't much of a video, wasn't long or anything like that. But like I said, it was a grind of a day. I mean, we saw probably hundreds of spoonbill swimming underneath the boat, around the boat. We just couldn't get with the live scope. We couldn't get the hooks set right to where we'd hook it. You know, I mean, on the live scope, it looks like you're swinging at them and hooking at them. Uh, but really, you could be two, three, two, three, four, five, ten feet off. So, um, yeah, like I said, wasn't too crazy of a video, but, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, um, so my cousin Vitaly, he had one, uh, earlier. <laughs> that thing actually came off the stringer. I don't know, like, what happened to it, you know. <laughs> it must have untied itself, you know, swimming. We had it on the side of the boat, and it just, like, unhooked itself and just left, you know. So, um, that one was gone, and then I broke that one on my bass rod. I think what happened was it was when I set the when I set the hook I I, had, I held the bass rod up a little bit higher than I should have, and it ended up breaking at a weak spot. I mean the rod was old. It's probably like a six or seven year old rod that I've used and abused. So it was bound to happen. But my and what happened? What I think what happened was was when the rod shattered, the uh, braid got cut by the graphite sticking out in the rod. So yeah, that was that and. Um, then I caught this one, you know. We weighed it, it was about 70 to 72 pounds. So pretty good sized female, got pretty good amount of meat on her. Yeah, I'm gonna have plenty of more videos coming you guys, your guys' way. So uh, uh, if you guys enjoy them, keep watching. Peace out, see you on the next one.